Hello everyone, I'm Michael Lam. Welcome back to the Batteries Review. Um, tonight I'm going to go through another single malt and this time also from the Isle of Isla. First of all, I'd like to answer a question. I got a new friend from Singapore, I think his name is uh, Calvin, who's really interested in uh, single malts and he was asking me to do more tastings for him so I actually opened this bottle of Outback Yushkadel uh, fresh tonight and he was asking me whether I should add water to whiskey or not and in normal tastings I don't and normal drinking if the whiskey is between maybe 40 to 46 percent alcohol then I elect most of the time not to add water however like this cast strength um, which is uh, about 54 percent alcohol then I would add a dash of water usually when I drink to release the taste of whiskey anyway all these whiskeys are from Isla um, from the most uh, non PT to the PTiest. these two are Brooklady 10 and 15 years old which I finished it already this one is the Bowmore it's a, uh, a larger distillery of medium peat. These two in the same kind of category are back and Lagavulin 16 which I tasted with you the other day and to my opinion the peatiest is almost like drinking medicine is the Lafroy. And before the show I pour myself um, this up back sample already. Remember it's running at 54% alcohol. Mmm on the nose, um, the first thing I think is because of the alcohol, I can sense um, kind of uh, almost like nail polish softened. Um, very sweet. Um, again, those peaty taste, very sweet, um, fruity taste as well. And almost like a little um, um, pudding or, or sweet custard, vanilla custard. But it mixes in with some. <sighs> A, a nose which I think it's almost like an engine room running uh, if <laughs> that's a strange description or maybe gunpowder big peat and big smoke just come out right away into my tongue mixing with all the um, sea calcs, sea saltiness that kind of seaweed, that kind of taste um, and because of the alcohol I could almost taste a hint of almost like hot ginger or cinnamon and again another fantastic whiskey um, not for the faint hearted, it's one of these um, over the top 